Do you ever get back pain, neck pain, wrist pain whenever you're playing violin or your instrument? Well, today I wanted to show you some postures that I often see amongst violinists that cause them different types of pain. My name is Grace Chung. I'm a physiotherapist and I deal with musician injuries. <laughs> see a violinist completely leaned on her right side. It's quite common. With this stance, you will have increased use of your right low back muscles and perhaps even weakness in the right gluteus medius muscle in the hip. Sometimes weakness in this muscle translates to hip, foot, and knee pain. It's important when playing that you have equal weight distributed through both feet or both sides of your butt when sitting. This will prevent unequal use of muscles in the back and legs. Ah, but next we do see equal weight through both left and right legs. This posture is known as a sway back posture, with knees locked, pelvis shifted forward, and low back arched too much into lordosis with the resulting forward head posture. When corrected, we see that the knees are straight but not locked, the back is neutral, not bent, and the head is sitting on top of the shoulders. This is what we call a neutral spine. A position when there is least likely asymmetrical stresses on the spine, leading to less overuse and pain. Next, we have a violinist who does have equal weight through both feet and is elongated in the back vertically, but we see that the violin is a little too far to the left, so she is no longer a neutral spine. With this posture, the left neck and trunk muscles are working hard and the right spinal muscles are in a stretched position. There is potential for pain on both sides of the spine here. Neck and jaw or TMJ pain happen a lot because the violin is held tight with the left neck and jaw muscles. One thing you may want to watch is how far your head is forward or whether you are tilting the head to either side. You want to keep your head on top of your shoulders with as equal a distance as possible between your ears and the top of your shoulders. In summary, to prevent injuries through your neck and back, you want to have equal weight through both legs, a neutral elongated spine, knees unlocked, head on top of the shoulders, and shoulders on top of the hips. <laughs> 